Bristol, Pennsylvania, the home of the ROH Dojo, Ian Riccoboni here for Future of Honor Friday. There you see Howie Timbershay, one of the stars competing tonight. He will have his hands full against the freak beast, Nick Camarado. Let's hear words from both men. Yours truly, Howie Timbershay has arrived at Ring of Honor Dojo for a fight. But if you think I'm gonna stop at a fight, no, 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 that's not my style. Because from Broadway, New York City, the scarf wearing singing sensation is gonna hit every note, every time. But don't let this good looking guy, this charm, this, this presence, this deliciousness throw you off your game. Because this hat does come off. And in that ring, I'm gonna do every single thing in my power to hurt you. To the point where you'll be saying, no, no. You'll be singing. Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. It's showtime. Future of honor. Six foot four, 275 pounds, former college all American wrestler. I am the freak beast, Nick Camarado. And today, begins my journey. Today is the first stop on the way to the top. I hope you're ready, Future of Honor, because the Free Beast, the Free Beast is always ready. Well, what a matchup we have in store for us today. Two behemoths. Ready to lock horns at the ROH Dojo. Well, that's one way to answer the code of honor. Nick Camarado, six foot four. Hey, Timbershay, only about an inch or so smaller. That gives you an idea of the size of these two gentlemen. And he's getting the locker room sellout involved immediately. You see Eli Isom, Future of Honor competitor, OG Mike. I thought the singing was pretty good. I mean, I don't know if they're booing him because of the singing or because he's not fighting. I like when he sang Hathaway earlier, but. Here we go, Carnavo tie up. Going to take a lot for either of these men to move one another as we're seeing a stalemate in the center of the ring. Whoa! And Nick Camarado, who is an all American weightlifter, football player, and collegiate wrestler. That's not how you want to engage a man they call the freak beast. Trying to embarrass me in front of all your people. Every little hair in your chest, that's how many times I'm gonna bust you in your face. You understand me? Yeah. Every single time. Every turn. Bring up. You wanna lock Bring up it. again? You Bring lock it. up again. Oh. oh! Give me a break. I thought we were gonna see another lockup. Stepping on the toes of Camarado, looking for the side headlock takeover. No, you're not gonna do that against a man as strong as Camarado, a man who we saw a future honor for the very first time in the 2300 arena. A great tag team match. Camarado drives Timbershay to the ground. Off the ropes. Off the ropes again. Kick to the midsection. Now gut wrench. Look at the strike toying with him. Wow, like a cat with a dead mouse. Ooh. Finishes off the gut wrench suplex. And Camarado sensing the opportunity here in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Proud product of the world famous Monster Factory. Nick Camarado, just another monster. Ooh, looking to take a bite out of the competition here, future honor. Big elbow drop, could be it. Cover, one. Ooh, just a one count. Camarado in control. If you want to see more of Camarado, you want to see more of Howie Timbershay, who's struggling a bit right now, be sure to leave a comment on the YouTube channel or hit us up at Ring of Honor on Twitter or Facebook. 
An unforced error there by Camarado charging in. Gave Timbershay too much time. And how quickly the tide can turn. I lie awake, I try myself. Again, I think the singing is fine. He's got a great voice, almost angelic, but wasting time against a man the size with the credentials of Nick Camarado. Of course, Timber Shea, not without his own credentials. One, come on, two. Of course, he's trained by the man that trained Deanna Perrazzo, Karen Q, two stars of Women of Honor, Damian Adams, who's proven himself. Tasha steals another one to be a great trainer in his own right. Of course, associated with the hustler Rip Rogers. So, you know, both of these two men. Oh, now using that rope to his advantage. And if Tim Shea could cut off the oxygen to the blood, and there's a lot of blood needed to power those muscles of Camarado, he's got a fighter's chance here. Coming back in to the midsection, but Timber Shea remains in control. Looking for the Irish whip. Looking for it again. Camarado perhaps is too strong. And that's just luck because Timber Shea is an incredibly strong individual in his own right. Back elbow connects, sends Camarado to the ground. Mind is sitting. I don't know why they're doing it. He could be wasting a once in a lifetime opportunity here. We've seen competitors win Future of Honor matches, go on to Ring of Honor Television, have opportunities there. Tempura Boys, coast to coast. That is the path to getting on Ring of Honor Television. And both of these men impressed in Ring of Honor tryout camps and seminars, getting their opportunity here in the dojo. Up and over goes Timber Shea. Off the ropes now, Camarado dropped to a hold by Timber Shea. Off the ropes he goes again. Another driving elbow, this time into the spine of Camarado. And I don't know if it was instinct or by design, Camarado covering that back up in the corner, not allowing Timber Shea at this juncture to inflict any more damage. The referee. Allowing Camarado to get an opportunity, get back to his feet. Timber Shea in the corner, center of the ring now, Irish whip. Great evasion there by Timber Shea. He faked out the fake out, followed it back in with a big clothesline. Cranking the neck. The vertebrae snapping one by one. Cover, one, two. What a great match we're seeing here by these two rising stars of professional wrestling. Again, in the comments section, tell us who you'd like to see more of. Back into the corner. Ooh, driving that shoulder in. Snaps the arm down. Oh, kick to the spine. Could this be the opening Camarado needs to defeat Timber Shea here in Bristol, Pennsylvania? And now the, the crowd, Future of Honor competitors solidly behind the Freak Beast. Getting that double axe handle prime, he connects. Oh, Timber Shea. Timber Shea, very smartly, you can't be pinned if you're not in the ring. Timber Shea knows this. Great veteran ring awareness to get outside. That big double axe handle, those two ham hocks. Ooh, now going straight to the eyes. Again, I don't like it, but it's smart. Timber Shea has Camarado in the corner. Puts him up, top rope. What does he have in mind here? Clubbing forearms to the chest. Into the corner, Timber Shea. Whoa, back handspring, elbow! Right into the midsection to those stretched out abdominals. Cover. One, two. Yeah. 
Timbershay in control. Camarado trying to fight back out of it. Both men sensing an opportunity. Big double axe handle again. A third. Sends Timbershay to the ground. Kick to the midsection. Here we go. Gut wrench. And for a doctor bomb, maybe. Oh! Sends him face first. Hooks the leg. Cover. One, two. Interesting cover there from Camarado. I don't know if it was because of the stage in the match or perhaps he was feeling it. Didn't necessarily cover the shoulders. Just kind of draped that 300 pound frame across the midsection of Timbershay. Allowed an opening. Timbershay though, grabbing at that turnbuckle, charging in. Oh, thought he exposed it. Yes, he did. Right in the face. And Timbershay now with a golden opportunity here in the ROH Dojo. Oh, frog splash, cover one, two, oh, two and nine tenths. Where did Camarado find the will, the reserve to kick out of the frog splash? And this is put up or shut up time for both men. And Timber Shea is not going to shut up anytime soon, I assume. But he's pie facing Camarado. Off the ropes he goes. Camarado sends him up. Oh, pop up spine buster. Hook the leg. One, two, three. He got him. What a victory for the Freak Beast here in Bristol, Pennsylvania at the ROH Dojo. Three. Beast. Beast. I thought the frog splash was going to be the difference, but it was not. The Freak Beast showed. Great will, great reserve as we take a look at the replay. Howie Timbershay off the rope. Camarado catches him, pop up. Spine buster. And the Freak Beast, your winner, here tonight, Future of Honor Friday. On this Future of Honor Friday, we invite you to tell us which one of these competitors you'd like to see more of here at Future of Honor. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching this Future of Honor Friday bout. I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling. We'll see you next week.